Yeah, good afternoon guys, I hope you're well. So today we're gonna to be looking at uh, plotting graphs with Maple. So we're gonna look at um, implicit plot and uh, 3D graphs and, um, and polar plots. Okay, cool, so let me start off by importing the package. So with, then plot. Cool, all right, uh, on a side note, um, just to um, ask if you guys would please subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button I'll greatly appreciate that. So thank you in advance. Okay, so let's get started. So I'll start off by assigning variables to my functions. So that would be uh, sin x times cos x. And then b will be uh, x times exponential minus x squared minus y squared. And then C will take the value of um, uh, x to the power 4 plus um, y to the power 5. And then D will take the value, um, right, let me make it a bit more interesting. So square root, then cos 2 theta. Okay. And then equation, I'll just give this. And that'll be, uh, right, so x squared plus y squared. And I'll square that. So it does equal to uh, x squared minus y squared. Okay, right, and then um, I've got a function as well, I'll just call it f, and then that will be, uh, so x, and then expands to, um, so that's 5x divided by 2x squared plus 1. Okay, right, so what I'm going to start off doing is, uh, I'll start off with the, with the 3D plot, then uh, then proceed so so plot 3d so my function a so there we are and then uh, plot 3d uh, b and then uh, plot 3d c Okay, so you get the idea of how to do 3D plots. You can specify the ranges as well. So, for example, um, let me do plot. Uh, let me do 3D for B again. So plot 3D. Um, my function. Uh, let me just say a. Right. Then x equals to minus five to five, and then y takes the ranges of minus five to five as well. Okay, so there we are. So you can specify the range. Okay, cool. And then, um, then I'm gonna start looking at um, um, the polar plot. Okay, cool. So let me start with the polar plots. Okay, so polar plot. Uh, A. So here we are. And then uh, polar plot D. So there we are. So that's my polar plot for, for D. Okay. And then uh, if I want to do an implicit plot, okay, so implicit. So I'll use the equation. Then my x would take 2 minus 5. Oh, no, let's say minus 1, 2, 1. And then y takes the same range as well, minus 1, 2, 1. Okay. So that's, um, that's our implicit plot for the equation. And um, then I also want to look at another 3D graph as well, another 3D plot. I quite like it. So, so plot 3D, then that's x squared plus y squared. 
So there we are. Cool. Okay, cool. And then um, one more function. So plot, just a normal plot anyway. Uh, f of x. And then x range equals to minus 8 to 8. So there we are. Then I can also just simplify the function as well, just to show you something. Simplify, then uh, f, substitute x with 1, 5 thirds. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, so it's just um, a tutorial. You're showing you how to do plots um, with Maple. Um, I can do, I'll do another video. And, okay, thank you guys, and thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day. Have a good day. Cool. Bye-bye.